Welcome back here to Anderson's TV. My name is Pete. I'm Ben. Yay! This is a special moment. I've been waiting to play these guitars. They're quite special, aren't they? they are, they're really, they're really nice. Epiphone, uh, I think it was last year, the year before. Uh, last year, I think. So they started making Epiphone again in Bozeman, Montana. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ben, we did a video on the Texan, which they made. Just and you can watch up there in that pop-up banner. That's then, a great guitar. Uh, lovely guitar. Um, before we do anything else, please like and subscribe. I do, yeah. Do all do, that stuff, please. Stuff. Um, and then what we what, what we then see now is that there's more coming through and the Frontier model is coming as well. Yeah. Another one I'm looking forward to, and you probably as well, is the uh, Casino. Yes. The, oof. I do. I, yeah, I really want to get my hands on one of them. I still, we saw them at NAMM like two years ago. <laughs> I know and you I was told like, me. <gasps> I was feeling, like, oh my God, they look amazing. And then I was like, oh, when are they coming? Oh, we don't know. So, but hopefully when they come in, yeah. we can have a little play on those. Because um, of course, um, Airbifone was purchased by Gibson. Yeah. Um, I think it was by Ted McCarthy. I'm not sure, but no, I think Epiphone was wasn't that in the 30s? Epiphone is older than Gibson. Oh yeah, they're, yeah, they're, man, yeah, Gib yeah Epiphone has old. been around, and it was it was a it was a Greek or Italian, a Greek guy. It was, it was Greek his guy. Name his name was Epiphone Papalopoulos. I, I can't something. pronounce his name. I couldn't pronounce it in the Apologies. the Texan video we did either. But yeah, it's, um, it's something with P, isn't it? It is. Yeah. My I had it, pronunciation I had it, of Greek names is terrible. I, I had it on, on here because I knew that we were going to talk about it. So, uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so, so. The Epiphone company was a bigger company than Gibson, and then uh, Gibson bought them out, I think, at the end of the 30s. Yeah, I think it was about 39, 40 yeah. something. But you, you probably know better than the. You know, just you, Google is your friend on all this stuff. That's it. Check out Wikipedia. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> all the stuff on Wikipedia is true. Yeah. Uh, I've got a doctorate in uh, neuroscience, if you look on Wikipedia. That's so it. I'm uh, a professor it, of linguistics. Yeah. <laughs> not, not Greek, though. <laughs> linguistics. Is that the pasta? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's beautiful with pesto. <laughs> so anyway, so um, I think they, these started in 1939, and then Gibson um, then took it over and made them from 1958 up to 70. The original US production was, yeah, 58 yeah. to 70 of the Frontier. It, but in Kalamazoo, right? Yeah. Um, and, then, and then, you know, models come and go. They're popular, they're not popular. It's, you know, we've seen these again. These are not cheap, by the way. Before, before we start, we're just going to throw it out there. These are around uh, £3,600 UK. Uh, and I think it's a lot of money, but when you do this, that's it. When man. you feel the guitar, you look at it and go, "That's an Epiphone for three and a half grand." Mm, you know. Yeah. As soon as you, you, and it was the same with the Texans. Yeah. I know because I know you. I can yeah. remember your reaction. You just go, "What?" Because they are made exactly the same way by the by the best yeah. luthiers, luthiers well, in they're made, you know. they're made in the gibson custom shop yeah. aren't they um yeah. all of these acoustics as far as i know yeah and, and they're just it's yeah like you say if you play pick it up and play just big cowboy chords on it oh, oh, yeah it just it just it just it, does the thing it's a special guitar so it's a doff um you know sort of gibson doff yeah it's that kind of shape so we're talking a dreadnought type shape yeah. but what they do here is that they the the, the top is a, a solid spruce top. Yep. Sitka spruce. And I love yours there because it's got some really fat grain it's, lines in it. Yep. Which, is, which, so as far as I'm aware, when you see lines that are this wide, it means mm. that the, the tree's grown slower. Yeah. It, that's, that's what I know. But, you know, sure. who knows? But that's that's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got a maple back inside. Which is beautiful. Which on this one there, you can probably see that yeah. back inside. I mean, um, it's the quilting on it is just gorgeous. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it wonderful? Isn't and it you, wonderful? It's like iridescent when you move it in the light. It I mean, I'm, I I love and the book mats top as well. You yeah. can see the two the, the two um, the book mats where this mats and your your uh, back and sides as well. Yep. The the the, the flame in there is incredible. So this the, yeah. there's two finishes in these. There's the natural finish and then there's this kind of uh, sunburst finished here, which you know kind of know. Uh, and the 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 scratch plate is the one that is kind of known the frontier because as you got here you got lassos yeah you got two lassos there you because you're in the frontier and cactuses and cactuses yeah um, so it's sort of kind of western exactly you've got the rosewood uh, fingerboard on here you've got a mahogany neck yeah you've got these slotted um what are they called the slotted it's, rectangles it's, yeah it's like it's slots of rectangles it's, it's very a rectangle of, yeah um, not very exciting term and then 
Of course, you've got your, um, a new thing in here with the VTC system from Illabag, so, yeah. which they've put into their guitars. I mean, spec-wise, that's kind of gr what you, there's not yeah. much else to say on the spec. There's not, I mean, it's... Seats, you know, it's, it's the way they're made. And, and it's, yeah, and I love, I, I love maple body acoustics. You were saying, yeah. Because... Explain to me why, why is that? Well, I, I just really like the sound of them. They're, they're very kind of, you get a lot of projection, you get some really nice, clear, kind of top end, focused bass. Yeah. And they're just, they're, they're a lot of fun to play. They're kind of lively and sometimes you have to, so, some maple guitars you really have to dig in, but this one's just, just, just sounds, oh, it's just beautiful. Even really quiet. There's a certain, there's a certain, it's the same with the J200s, you know, the big mm. SJ200s, which has got that maple back and sides. It's just a different tone. Yeah. I mean, I think we should definitely try to shoot the, the, these out against some other guitars in the similar... We should the, try it with the Texan, because that's mahogany, isn't it? That's a mahogany yeah. body. Yeah, I mean, the Texan is, is more a, it's a more J45, but a different scale length, right? It's, well, these, I think these are the... These are 25 standard, and a half. 25 and a half. Yeah. The, the Texan is a 25 and a half as well, yeah. which makes it slightly unusual because normally a J45 is 23 and 43 That's quarters. That's what it is, yeah. 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 So, um, and there's a shootout video you did, you can watch up yeah. there. In, yeah, with yeah. A, which was just between a straight J45 yeah. and, the, and the Texan, but I'd love to compare this to the Texan as well. Yeah, and you know what I would like to do when we eventually get them in, they do actually a uh, more affordable version of this, so like, do you remember we shot yes, that yeah, out yeah, with yeah, it? Yeah. So they're doing that as well, so like Brilliant. a 750, between seven and 800 quid, mm. I'm not quite sure. Uh, well, when we get those in, we'll try to do another shootout um, because people go, well, it looks the same. So, yeah. And why would I pay three thousand pounds extra? Well, actually. There's something in the headroom of a guitar when, mm. when it's built like like these are all by hand with, you know, the, the, the top woods and all of that different stuff. Yeah, you, you, it's it might not be three grand but like yeah. we always talk about the yeah, yeah. diminishing returns and all that stuff um, but these are just wonderful anyway rambling play please let's, all right. let's play, let's some play something you, you play so, something just play something let me do some finger picking stuff because it's just and if I drop it down yeah I mean if you want to do that it's people like uh, Tom Petty would play guitars like this and yeah. I saw Noel Gallagher also uh, played you know yeah. and, and you know that kind of I hate playing the song but I'm not going to play anything it's else, five, but it's that it's it's five, five in the box, isn't it? <laughs> but it's that it's that kind of anyway. Here's yeah. Wonderwall, but it's that kind of tone. It's that fat. Yeah. Look. It's that kind of massive droning sound that just sits there. Yeah, like it will fill up. It. I mean, it's just it's it sounds. It sounds like a really great yeah. dreadnought. Anyway, I was in anyway, no, but yeah, I just, I just would have thought it'd be nice to do some. <laughs> yeah, please. It's a big sound. Yeah, it's a huge sound. Uh, you have to probably, again, so we have got a guitar gallery at the moment. You have to book an appointment in there. And uh, it's pretty easy because the guys are called Paul and Paul. So, uh, so it's pretty easy. So chat, chat to Paul or Paul. Uh, and they can even do um, uh, like a vis you know, a Zoom type kind of uh, cool, appointment yeah. where they'll show you a guitar, they'll play it, they'll show you all the details. So in, if you can't make it in for some whatever mm. reason, you can have one of those um, uh, sort of Skype type yeah. things with them and, and they'll help you out. So that, that's worth taking out in the links below as well. Because uh, we, I think we have three left of these at the moment. So, so. And they're all different. So on the Anderson's website, they'll mm. be photographed um, individually and so you see the serial numbers that one so if you like a certain grain of the top mm -hmm. on this guitar that's the one you want like if I say serial number this one here it's got serial number 20331062 so if you fancy this one in particular then uh, yeah. this is 20361075 so if you want one of these I love can you just flip yeah. yours around so you can see the neck 
This is one of the things I like for the, with the 335s or the 330s on the blonde when you've yeah, got yeah, the dark yeah. neck on it. It just looks like it's just wonderful. Um, the neck is a sort of a, a C shape, so it's not too fat. No. Um, 12 inch radius on here, jumbo frets, um, and just, just nitro lacquer, so you get all the all the yeah. good stuff, you know, you get a case and all the candy and all that all stuff. All the stuff. Um, um, let, I want to just play some, I want to play it a little bit. Yeah, so here's, yeah. here's like. You know what it I is? Just, it's, the, it's, the, <clears throat> it's the nuances and the headroom and the harmonics that just starts. It's all the way down here. You've got everything, for, like dynamic range, and it's ridiculous. Exactly. It's ridiculous. And you know what? I, I want to play this chord a lot. This, like, dad chord. Yeah, yeah. With, with the, when you see, but <clears throat> with the G in the up yeah, there. So yeah. you get this. I don't know why I call it a dad chord. I don't because know, I always, it's always like when I, when, I, when I play with somebody who's like yeah, yeah. my dad's age, they would always play always. a C chord like this. I always get that in there. When you go, the bass, that's where the bass does. No, no, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. It. You know, yeah, yeah. but it's that full sort of thing. Um, I mean, just, I just, I just love these guitars. They're expensive, expensive. But I mean, if you, like, if you put this in a recording studio, I can see it becoming your number one acoustic rhythm yeah, guitar. I think so. Just because it, like, if you pick it up and stick it in front of any microphone, it's just gonna sound killer, I reckon. Anyway, so let's let's. Uh, can you just because you're plugged into uh, one yeah, of these, uh, the yeah, Capo yeah. Uno <clears throat> 75 DC. So let's hear what the um, so. VTC LR bag I mean, system. Very, I love the way they put them in here with a little volume and a little tone. Yeah, super duper easy. It's good. The tone has got a center detente. Center detente, which we like. Um, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, always it's, pain, isn't it? When you, it's like which is which, and yeah. actually, I think it says on it. Does it, it says volume and tone. Look. It does, yeah. Which is like, yay! Because you're always fiddling around, like, which one is which? Is you know? But yeah, so I mean, uh, this is this is the, 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 the bag system. I mean, it's you know, it's a good pickup. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great pickup, and it's good gigging. to have in case you need yeah. it for gigging. But and it makes the guitar sound. Yeah. You know. But what you really need is one of these with this guitar because it's just it's a recording oh, guitar. It's you know, a it's a strumming guitar. guitar. It's a, it's a singer songwriter's guitar. I'd say Cheryl Crow playing, you know, acoustic uh, unplugged shows guitar. Just, it's just it's a Neil Young kind of. Uh, no, he was a Martin guy. No, but it's you that could do kind some of bluegrassy stuff those, on it too because yeah. it's got that whole. Well, let's know. have some. Let's have some. That's something my arm can't do, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. A... I'm just really scared of scratching the top. I know. Yeah. It's, I get. That. I'm. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm out here as well. I don't want to touch it too I'm much. Really very, but, but it's wonderful guitars. Beautiful, um, man. I'm yeah. just. So book an appointment with the uh, yeah. guitar gallery. 
uh, if you want to try or have a conversation with Paul or Paul? I would say if you're looking for any kind of dreadnought, and you even if you've got your heart set on a Martin, I would try one of these. What price is... What is the D28 these days running? <sighs> it's got to be comparative, hasn't it? Yeah, let's just have a look. Uh, yeah, so a, a D28 is about three grand, yeah. so if you want an HD28, it's a little bit more yeah. up there, you know. And, uh, and I, I, I would say... The, because of the amount that can make of these, that kind of values the price. That that, that yeah. warrants the price. You know, you, they, they're not. There's not many of them, and they make them all by hand. Super. Yeah. Cool. But anyway, I don't think we have anything else to say, is it? They, these, Do you want to say anything else? I mean, it's, <laughs> they, they speak for themselves, really. They're just wonderful. Yeah. Beautifully wonderful made. Us. Great sounding. Great to play. Yeah. And please, in the comment section, if you want us to shoot these out, if we have any left at that point, please just. What would you like us to shoot it out with? I mean, yeah. I can definitely see the uh, D28 or something. I'd Maybe love the to price is a little yeah. bit different, but I can. I would love to hear the two things because you got the yeah. you got the uh, you know X scalloped bracing in here as mm -hmm. well. So it's all super vintage uh, appointments with the nitro lac and all that. So it should be. I would. I'd like to hear this up against the Texan and a couple of Martins personally. Well. Let's write that down, Ben, Let's for do next it. time you come in. Right. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> right. Please like and subscribe. And subscribe to his... Uh, follow, go follow him on Instagram thank and all his uh, guitar noodle things. This is good fun. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>